Hi, my name is Christine. I started here at the Port Townsend Era Museum about three years ago. At the age of 17, one of my friends had been working here since he was 12, and so I got to tag along one Sunday. Um, I've been here ever since, just because I, I love airplanes. I love working on airplanes. I love being around airplanes. It's it's the chance of a lifetime, really, working here. The first time I ever was in a small airplane was my first day here. Uh, the first Sunday up, it was nice weather, and I got to uh, fly in our museum's J3 Piper Cup. The first time the ground fell away, it was just the most amazing feeling of just being free. Even though, you, even though you're confined in a small airplane, it's just the sky around you. It, it's amazing. Um, that same Piper Cub is a, the airplane that I soloed about a year later. Um, my first solo in that airplane, just to watch the instructor climb out of the front seat and to... It's almost the same feeling as the first time you ever go flying. It's to just the freedom of being able to go and do in that airplane what you, what you feel you want to do. Last weekend, I went down to McMinnville, just out of the blue. Felt like going to the McMinnville Air Museum. The weather was good, access to an airplane, just... It's so another thing about the freedom of flying is you want to go from point A to point B. In, an, in a car it'll take four or five hours, in an airplane it'll take an hour and a half, and it's just the freedom to be able to go, do something, get out of the state, just <sighs> whenever you feel like you want to, you know, go somewhere, get out. I got that opportunity after flying here. You fly here, you get to uh, learn how to fly, eventually you get your license, and then you're out in the world of the sky. From probably my first week, first two couple weeks here, I got started doing fabric work, which is what we do for a lot of our contract work um, in order to support the museum itself. Uh, we cover with fabric um, other people's aircraft as well as our own. So it's, it's an art form as well as a technical process. And that's what I've been doing pretty much for the last three years that I've been here. The program isn't just about airplanes learning to fly. Uh, it's really about maturing, about growing up, about learning to be a leader, to uh, do hard work, not just, you know, sit there. And, like other kids that want to come here, it's an interview process. You come in, you interview, and then you get to try your first week. It's a lot of hard work. You get people that, you know... <sighs> Work we do on airplanes, it's a lot of, if you do it wrong, you know, we have to go back, we have to do it again, because it's about somebody's life in the air, you know, you... It's a lot of responsibility, so in, in it's not about, just about flying, about learning to be a pilot, it's about learning to take responsibility, be a leader, get out and do good work. The first time I met Jerry, I was extremely intimidated. Um, this guy is, it, he keeps the program, it's very militaristic, it's, you do this, you listen, you do it right, or, you know, you have to do it again, and that's, you get yelled at a lot, um, but it keeps us, it keeps us in line, it's more of a motivation than a, you know, you've let us all down, um, very intimidating, very, very like I said, he keeps us all in line, and it, I feel like it's what the program needs, if you had somebody who just said, oh yeah, do the work you can, go fly come back no your work wasn't you know satisfactory just mm, you're here for the flying and then it wouldn't work out but it's more of a you know he's here to keep the program's integrity going he'd feel like he's the only one that really can really do the job justice